Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. You see before you a left mandibular first molar, a pilcated turner, 30 degree tooth. The occlusal surface of this tooth is designed and based on mechanical principles with solid geometry being utilized. When one articulates with this mandibular first molar, its antagonist, the maxillary first molar, we arrive at an interdigitation in which the mesiolingual cusp fits into the central sulcus. The patient now, or if on the articulator, a left working movement is made. The maxillary antagonist passes over the occlusal surface in this manner, in which the lingual cusp passes through the groove to the lingual surface of the lower molar. A working movement to the right side, whereby this left side now becomes the balancing side, results in the mesiolingual cusp passing up the distal buccal groove of this lower molar in this particular fashion. And this is the balancing contact that results in a balancing movement. In a pure protrusive movement, the mesiolingual cusp travels up the distal lingual incline of this lower molar in this manner. These pathways that this maxillary molar follows in working, in balancing, and in protrusion are based on the movements of the articulator. They were designed in the occlusal surface of this tooth based on the passage of the cutting tool and in the creation of the various angulations in the primordial form. If we trace on the occlusal surface of this tooth the pass of movement that the mesiolingual cusp made over the occlusal surface of this tooth, we find that this line would represent the working movement. This line here would represent the balancing movement. And a line drawn from this dot into the central sulcus would represent the protrusive movement. Actually, what you see represented here is a Gothic arch configuration. But you should realize that it is an extremely specific Gothic arch configuration. It is one whose angles, working, balancing, and protrusive, are designed and are specific for the Pilkin and Turner 30 degree posterior tooth. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.